Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Home Place. Friends, how y'all doing today? Well, y'all, I ordered a knife a while back and it came in the middle of the day and I haven't had time to uh, take it out and look at it. So I just thought, I'd, you know, do a video here and show you what kind of knife I bought. Uh, this particular knife is a uh, knife that I've been wanting to get. And you know how it is, you know, you just don't want to spend the money sometimes. And I figured, well, since I'm making uh, Buck 112 knife sheaves, I really need the original Buck 112 knife. What I've been using is this Clark uh, knife. It looks like a Buck 112, and it's going to be real close uh, to a Buck 112, I believe. But uh, anyway, I thought I'd go ahead and uh, spend the money and actually go and buy uh, the real deal. And I just got, like I said, I got it in the mail a couple of days ago. This is a Buck 112 made in USA, and uh, it has genuine ebony uh, handles on it. So let me go ahead and open it up here. All right. So let's first thing, let's look at uh, the sheath that came with. Sheath that's made in uh, Mexico. Um, looks to be a uh, leather type, uh, fold over type sheath. So take a look at that. Get my fingers out of the way. That's what it comes with. Um, I would like smelling, you know, leather kind of smells like leather. Uh, this kind of smells like, I don't know, maybe the dye I'm smelling, y'all. I know dye, I make it smell a certain way. But anyway, it's just a cheaper type uh, leather sheath right there. And um, comes with a usual message from the Buck family right there. And it does have a uh, forever warranty. So on to what we really want to look at, y'all. And that's the knife. This out came packaged right here in some uh, foam. All right, y'all. There it is right there. Buck 112. So let me just take a quick look at it here myself. Let me open the blade up on it. See how that action feels on it. All right, feels pretty good. Let me show you what it looks like right there. Let me get this camera back on here so I can see here. And it is, let me see here. Let me get a ruler here. It should have a three inch blade on it. And y'all did a little reading about the uh, Buck 112, <clears throat> how it came about. Um, Buck 112 uh, was made, I think they said about eight years after the Buck 110 had came out. And, um, you know, the, the story goes is two sailors had gotten in a fight. One of them had a buck 110 knife and one of the soldiers, you know, the sailors was seriously injured. And, uh, so the, uh, let's see here, the captain or whatever of the ship, I think it's a USS ship, uh, the commander, whatever on that ship said that, uh, you no, know, that nobody could have a knife anymore that had a blade over three inches. So apparently the Buck 110 was a pretty popular knife that was uh, you no know, sold in a ship store where the sailors would get their knives, and Buck you know found out about it. So they uh, they knew that that probably hurt the sales, you know. So they came up with the uh, you know Buck 112 Ranger, and suppose I guess that's named after the uh, ship itself probably, and uh, so that's how that you know, Buck 112 came about. And I believe it was in 1972 that the, the Buck 112 came out. Let's see here. I like feeling the sharpness. Buck always has you no know, real sharp knives, y'all. So, uh, yeah, I like it. Uh, let me see how it compares to this other knife here. I don't know if y'all probably can't see this. But just for my own knowing right here real quick. And I can kind of show you here. Um... Uh, 
my finger's gonna be in the way y'all but hey it's a it's like a spitting image almost i mean it's like right there i mean it's identical um with the uh buck uh, 112 and this other knife um let me see the only thing i can see y'all that might be just a little bit different it seems like the edge is a little bit smoother on the buck uh 112 than the other one so um let me show you this real quick another reason i'm doing this video is a good time to show you this too um i bought some uh, new leather i've been making knife shoes out of is a uh, buffalo uh, water buffalo leather and this is in a crazy horse that's the color up y'all i like it that's for a buck uh, 112. And here's one for buck 110 right here and i have both these on my ac shop and uh but uh reason main reason i'm bringing this out today i want to show y'all uh see how this uh new uh book 112 fits in my sheath here that i made how it looks that's what it looks like right there y'all looks real good so uh anyway y'all i just want to bring you a little short video here today and show you uh my new buck 112 knife i got and uh main reason i bought this here is just to uh when when i make my knife sheaves y'all i always test fit make sure everything's good before they get shipped out and uh if any kind of modification they be done to the sheath and uh but i think i'm y'all like it's a uh, new buffalo leather and like i say you can get, get in different colors and everything but i like it because it's got this uh vintage distress type look to it and uh, like i say it's already pre-dyed and i don't have to worry about dyeing the leather and thing so that really saves some time and plus it gives this nice pull up effect i don't know if y'all can see that there, there, there you know that's, that's another thing i like about this leather and uh it's uh good stiff you know thick leather it's eight nine ounce so uh yeah, I'm going to be uh, making a lot more of these knives, sheaves, and stuff out of this uh, leather. And, um, like I say, that's why the little Buck 112 looks like in there. But, uh, anyway, y'all, I appreciate y'all coming along. Uh, if any of y'all got a Buck 112 that you like, whatever. Oh, yeah, another interesting fact I found out, uh, I think in 2019, the Ebony Wood that uh buck makes our knives the you no know, I'm, I'm assuming it's probably the buck 110s and the 112s they're sourcing that uh you know ebony is from taylor guitars so that's something else i read about it's pretty interesting but anyway y'all appreciate y'all coming along and as always friends from my family yours y'all have a blessed day we'll see you later bye-bye